Previously on the Steve Saga. We could just go into the forest, not the jungle though, and then we have the What is that? Dude, do you see anything down there? No, no, look down there. What is that? Is that a mob or something? That kind of looks like a Steve. I'm gonna get down there. You just watch up there and make sure nothing happens, okay? Dude, that's definitely a Steve. Maybe he literally is a bacteria or a virus or something. Think about it. If he's related to a certain thing. You mean like a plague? Yeah, like a Oh, like a plague, yeah. We just need to borrow your power. A tiny bit. That's all. That's it. That's just a tiny bit, man. I'm sure that's probably a little worrisome. He looks kind of sad. Does he understand? Maybe he's lost some of his people, too. You know, maybe there was more than just him. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another daily Minecraft video. Now, today, I am here on the Steve Saga server, and I am pretty excited, guys, all right? Because I asked you guys what you guys had in mind for what our next plan would be. Hey, if you guys don't remember, we ran into Plague Steve, who is now here with us. He's just been chilling, hanging out with the animals. Look, Plague Steve's just enjoying the animals. Isn't that cute, Lucas? And with a shep. Yeah, it's with a shep, man. It's with a sheep. Wait, wait. But what are you going to try and do? What are you doing? Up, oh, and he sheared it. Okay. Yay. <laughs> Nonetheless, though, guys, I have a great idea today okay if you guys are excited don't forget to hit that like button let's you for 5,000 likes on today's video subscribe turn on notifications don't forget to check out the merch down in the description below <sighs> because it's just so amazing. And check out my Twitch channel where I daily stream, okay? I stream every single day on there. So check that out down in the description below and drop a follow if you wanna hang out with me live um, and we can hang out. But let's get into today. Plague Steve has been super kind. We've hung out with him for a bit, made sure he hasn't gone anywhere. And now I want to bring up my idea, which hopefully Plague Steve is okay with. I haven't brought it up to him or even Lucas actually. All right, man, the plan that I saw some people leave in comment down below is Plague Steve is obviously a virus, Steve. He might be nice, but he is made up of something that can overwhelm or overtake another living thing, right? What if we got Plague Steve, we put him in a machine, and just like how Rainbow Steve at one point gave me that potion that had a part of him, what if we did the same thing and produced ourselves something like that from Plague Steve through a machine? If we got a potion and we made it like a splash potion, and it was full of Plague Steve's ability, what if we threw it on Infinity Steve and infected Infinity Steve, which could weaken him? Thoughts? Would that be a good idea, though? Like, I don't, I don't know. Do you want to get that close? Well, no, I don't want to get that close, but that's probably the only way we could probably take care of Infinity Steve at the time being. It, it might not, you know, get rid of him completely, but it could definitely weaken him. I mean, Plague Steve's definitely a kind Steve. Maybe he'll let us get a little bit of his ability or his power or whatever and use it as a way to infect Infinity Steve and slow him down from getting stronger and stronger. I mean, remember, dude, he was literally just using fireballs to basically tease us that he doesn't even need to do anything else with his abilities. Dude, we had to leave the rainbow town behind just because of how strong Infinity Steve is. This could be our last chance. So, you down? If, if he's okay with it, then sure, I'll try it out. All right. so, you know, it's a new idea. It might actually help this time. Yeah, so we put chests down because we wanted to not lose our stuff and not have to hold it all at the same time. So we put chests down. So all of our stuff's in here. This is my chest. Lucas's chest over there but let's go ahead and talk to plague steve and ask him if he's okay with this because i'm not sure if he will be but uh well, maybe not if what if he's not let's just hope that he says yes let's just hope he says yes dude all right yeah, yeah, yeah. let's talk to him and hope this works out because actually lucas has even had to evacuate his area as well on his server well i didn't have to i just it was a precaution it yeah, yeah. Sure, he's you know? he's doing it before he has to he was just trying, yeah. trying to get ahead of it because he's seen what's been going on here and i I think it was a good call, dude. It was a good call. So let's go ahead and talk to Plague Steve. Hey, how you doing today? Just ask him how he's doing, man. He's doing good. See, he's doing good, man. All right, let's go ahead and we got to bring it up slowly, okay? Because we don't want yeah. to just throw it on to him and then he feel he, he just feel overwhelmed, right? Wait, does he even know what's going on? No, and I don't think we should try and explain it to him because I think it'll just cause more questions than answers, right? I mean, it's a pretty in-depth thing that's happening right now. So let's yeah. just say, let's ask him, do you trust us? I mean, we've been hanging out with him and he seems to be pretty kind to us so let's, let's just ask him yeah so he trusts us all right yeah. okay let's ask him um i have a question for you and feel free to say no but and then we'll just follow it up will you help it. <laughs> us with something there you go is it i mean i'm sure he's gonna need to know what thing he looks he's getting a little worried and that's okay that's okay that's understandable i mean we won't it won't be hurting him we're only gonna take just enough for the potion so we promise you won't be in trouble yeah how about that, man? I think he's thinking about it. Oh, okay, he's saying yes. He's saying yes. Here, let's explain it just a little deeper, uh, a little further, a little further. We just 
need to borrow your power a tiny bit. That's all. That's it. That's just a tiny bit, man. I'm sure that's probably a little worrisome. Yeah. Okay, here, here. Let's follow it up. Let's follow it up. Just, it's, maybe say that we've done it before and he will be completely fine. We maybe are like doing it to save the other Steves. And then in parentheses, I'm going to put the people like you. I don't know if he know if he's even seen another Steve, but maybe he'll understand that. I really hope he says yes, man, because this is basically our last, uh, last resort. Here. Our last, yeah. He looks kind of sad. Does he understand? Maybe he's lost some of his people, too. You know, maybe there was more than just him. Okay, he understands. Mm -hmm. So let's get to work on this machine, dude. Please tell me that you have a block of gold in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't worry, don't worry. I have okay. One. And then, did you grab more pistons? Because I only grabbed one piston. I don't know why. Yeah, I I've got it. some pistons. I think this should be good enough here. Let's build it right here. Uh, you mind helping me clear out this grass? Cool. And then here's some seeds, chicken. Now let's go ahead and work on this machine. Basically, we're just going to make machine kind of like just a, a regular machine that we've been using to lock Steve's in, but we need to hook it up to a chest so we can squeeze just a little bit of Plague Steve's powers out. Now, basically, to do that so we don't get all of Plague Steve is we need to make sure that we turn the machine on just for a super short amount of time. I am going to get the chest and get it all hooked up. Let's go ahead and hook it up. We'll hook it up behind the machine here. I uh, didn't place it directly behind, and that's going to really bother me. There we go. Actually, let's go ahead and put it on iron. Wait, do you have another block of gold? Uh, Let me check. You didn't just pick up one? I mean, you didn't. You only picked up one? We didn't have that many. Oh, okay, no, yeah, yeah. I have Couple, okay, okay. Can you hollow out this uh, this block here, please? And then put the gold block in there. Oh, there you go. And then chest. Cool. So now that the chest is all hooked up and all of that, we do need to close this up because if there's a little leak or anything, then that could, could literally everything ruin up. everything. Yep. And then we'll, we'll cover up the rest with glass too once we get him inside. We'll keep it completely sealed up. So I believe this machine is all good. Is there anything we are missing? Actually, we might want to extend the top with like a lightning rod so we can actually get it powered up. I mean, we could use redstone blocks. But why don't we just use the lightning? The lightning yeah. seems to be a lot more effective. I um, only had 10 iron bars, so this is that's pretty okay. much the max that I can do. Yeah, yeah like that's this? enough. Yeah, that's good. Like this. That's Normal good, lighting. dude. That's good. You're good. Okay. You're doing good up there. All right, so Plague Steve's been watching us build this machine, which might be kind of spooking him a bit. But I think this is going to be pretty good. Actually, why don't we hook up the iron to the pistons here? Do we need a door? No, we're going to cover it up with glass to just completely... Uh, okay, okay. So that we can also see um, Plague Steve like perfectly, just in case if something goes wrong. Plague Steve has been treating us very well. He's been very kind to us, so I don't want to do anything that hurts him or anything. We're going to be playing this very, 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 very safe. So let's go ahead okay. and bring the redstone out to the front here. And then do you have a lever on you? We can just I don't have one. a lever. That's one of the most basic Wowza. things. Wowza! We don't have it. Okay, do you have sticks on you? Uh, here, I'll make sticks. I got it. I got it. Here, I'll just make eight levers so that we don't have to get them in again. All right, eight levers. Got it, boy. So the machine should be all hooked up now. Hopefully it works. Hopefully it works, man. Nonetheless, we need to convince Plague Steve to get inside of the machine. So let's go Good ahead and talk to him. Good luck with that. Yeah, let's go ahead and talk to him here. Hey, so we made this machine and we need you to get in get in get in it it won't hurt and will only last a few seconds hopefully he doesn't get scared he seems uh, he seems brave though yeah Okay, all right, so he understands. All right, guys, here we go. So we're going to go ahead and cover it up, and uh, we're going to turn it on. As soon as we turn it on, of course, there should be lightning and all of that. We're, we're only going to leave it on for a few seconds. We might actually even turn it off mid-lightning because I don't think we want it on too long. Actually, Lucas, should we mo uh, modify this so that this redstone goes into a hopper and then dispenses into the chest, or should we just keep it like this? Uh, we could do that if you think we I have better. a hopper. Let's just play it safe. I have safe. a bunch of hoppers. Oh, okay, yeah, then go ahead and just put a hopper down. Okay, cool. So now that we did that, we should be good now. Here we go. You ready, Lucas? Yeah. All right. Plague Steve, I really hope this doesn't mess up because that would be a very bad first impression. Okay, everything looks good. Actually, wait. If we want it to be a potion, we're going to need to put in some kind of glass in uh, in the hopper so that when it goes through the hopper to go into the chest, it'll turn into a potion. Oh, yeah. Makes sense. Let's Makes just sense. go ahead and um, it's just going to go into the chest if we do that. How are we going to make it so that it doesn't go directly into the chest? I guess we can just leave it in the chest and uh, we'll just make a line up in the top here. Let's just hope it mixes in. If it doesn't, then we're kind of in big doo-doo. Actually, do you want to just make a bottle? Yeah, sure. Uh, we need okay. three for that. How do you make a throwable potion again? It's with gunpowder, right? Yeah, gunpowder. Do you have like one gunpowder? 
powder on you by any chance? Uh, I have in some your inventory? to make the, the fire rockets. Oh, okay, yeah. You're just going to have to convert the potion. I don't really... Whatever, you just do it. Because we're going to have to that. make this potion throwable in order for Infinity Seal. We can't just force him to drink it. Like, he's not going to drink it. So we're going to have to throw it at him. If we wanted to make it, like, normally, we'd have to have a brewing stand. But I, if I... When you turn on the machine, if I put the gunpowder in here then at the same time, so it goes you in through work? at the same time... Maybe. But we don't have a brewing stand, so... True. Maybe... Yeah, let's see if we can make a little shortcut. Let's see if we can take a little shortcut. I mean, we could make a brewing stand, but we don't have any resources for that. No, we have you, to go you, would need, you would need a blaze rod. Well, we don't have any of that stuff right now. So let's go yeah. ahead and uh, try that then. Did you get a bottle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it I in the it. chest and all that? Yeah, okay. I'm going yeah, to put it. Yeah, go ahead and put it in the chest there. Here we go. You ready, Lucas? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Put it in. Put it in. I am, I am, I am. Okay, and off. I don't know if I left it on super long. Is it all good in there? Plague Steve looks yeah, like he's all right. there was something in there. Plague potion. Okay, yeah, yeah, let him out, let him out. Okay, okay. Got it, there you okay. go. Okay, all good? Here, let's ask him if he feels okay before we even check the potion. You feel okay? Please feel okay. Okay, he's good. Woo! All right, guys, so we did it. We got the potion. This potion looks weird, dude. It literally looks like there's bacteria in this thing, dude. Check it out. It says plague potion. It has weakness on it. I'm sure it has a different effect on other Steves, though. Probably. Oh, wait, the sheep is back. I had something for the sheep. Now it's red. Huh. Okay. Um, but yeah, guys, we got the plague potion. As you can see, though, we only have one plague potion. So hopefully it doesn't... Well, I can't believe you throwing the gunpowder in there last second worked. Well, if we, if it didn't, we would have had a huge problem. Yeah, we really would have. Now you have to make sure that you actually hit yep, the now right we, Steve, yep, very the true. right potion, very the true, right dude. time. Good luck. So yeah, now right. we literally have to make sure that we land this potion on Infinity Steve or else this was all for nothing. But nonetheless, guys, we did it. If you guys believe in us, don't forget to hit that like button. Let's shoot for 5,000 likes. Subscribe, turn on notifications. Don't forget to check out Lucas and the Rainbow Steve channel down in the description below. Seriously, thank you guys all uh, so much for the support. As always, I'm your host, Saber, and I'll see you tomorrow with another daily Minecraft video. Bye. Bye.